right, right here. Uh, I had to delete the audio because we would have got demonetized because it's music. Anyway, we're in New York City here. Um, Dave Palumbo's waiting for me with my boy. There's Guy Sisternino. Okay, there's my boy Derek Anthony and Colette Nelson. They're waiting for me to do an interview. I just opened up the Tribeca Film Festival. I'm here with the one and only rambling freak, Greg Valentino, who just squeezed my ass. <laughs> what are you doing here in New York City? You don't leave Westchester. Well, you know what I'm saying? I figure uh, I could come here, watch a I'm movie. I'm doing the interview. Oh, sorry. I could, I could come here, watch the movie, go get some hookers afterwards. You know, me and Derek. <laughs> Derek Anthony right there. No, no wait a second. You, I, for, I, for, if I understand this correctly, you are traveling around the city today visiting... All the different places, making speeches on stage to the opening? Yes, that's correct. I, I'm going to about five different movie theaters tonight. I, uh... By the way, that was my boy, Mr. G, that just stuck in there. He was younger than two. We were all, it was all a long time ago, man. But anyway, uh, yeah, Derek Anthony, Guy Sistanito Young, you know what I'm saying? We're all buddies, you know, and we we're all, they're waiting for me. I opened up the Tribeca Film Festival. I had to go from theater to theater. Mark Cuban paid me lovely to do that, by the way. I got paid nice. And uh, anyway, they were waiting for me to do a film for, you know, this film that you watch. But anyway, I thought that was funny. Mr. G jumped in there with that poster. I love George. George is my boy. For I, for if I understand this correctly, you are traveling around the city today, visiting all the different places, making speeches on stage to the opening? Yes, that's correct. I, I'm going to about five different movie theaters tonight. I, uh, I answer questions. When uh, That's what it made me come out here late, was that I go up there and I introduce the show. For, um, I'm working with Magnolia Films during this whole thing. And Mark Cuban's uh, Magnolia Films. Yes, uh, Mark Cuban's uh, people, Mag Mag Magnolia Films. But that's what we're doing. We're going around the city, and we're, uh, you know, we're, we're introducing the show. Well, i got to tell you, everyone who was watching this movie, Greg, was applauding, cheering, laughing. Mostly laughing at your part. Well, I got to tell you something. I hit those baseballs. I did not miss those baseballs. Oh, really? I hit a lot of them. He he purposely put in the ones I missed. I was like really pissed off. But uh, and that's that. Did you did you see how I ate yeah. that steak? Yeah, yeah. That was, was that normal? Or did you do that for the camera? No, that was normal. That's but, how you eat. Yeah, let me tell you something. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not. I'll tell you, this movie is really, I'm not greasing my, uh, my director or producer's ass, but this movie was unbelievable. I mean, it really exposed a lot of the myths, and, and I mean, it really did. The whole industry looks upside down when you watch this movie. Now, you were in that movie, Man with the Exploding Arms, where they kind of misconstrued a lot of what you said. Was this accurate? Um, the Man with the Exploding Arms is totally not accurate, but uh, this was very accurate. This was dead nuts, to be honest with you. Except for the part where I said I can hit the fastballs and I was missing because I hit 90% of those balls. Oh, so he did that on purpose to make you look bad? Yeah, he did it. He, yeah, boy, did he get me good. I, I actually stood up with Dr. I saw this with Dr. Coker, the, real, the, the main preview. And uh, the audience was packed, and they were laughing because you know I was, you know, they showed clips of me swinging. For you people that don't know what I'm talking about, I was with Carson Daly, and I told Carson Daly I can hit a 90 mile an hour fastball. I dare anybody to challenge me. So he challenges me, and they're throwing 90 mile an hour fastballs, but I was whacking them. And he put, you know, of course you miss a couple, you know what I mean? But he put the ones I missed in the thing. He said, "Oh, I thought it'd be like funny because here you're saying," and he. That's what I mean so by that. You, so you can hit a baseball? Yes, I can. Now, what about, that was at a batting cage. Can you hit a real baseball? I could hit Jose Canseco in the head with a bat. I'm sorry, Derek. I'm sorry. Derek was very upset with the Jose Canseco part. <laughs> I know it's right, weren't you? Insane movie. Greg was the man. You owned it. Great shit. All right, what was your favorite part of the whole movie, aside from your, your scenes? Yeah, my, I, to be honest with you, my scenes weren't my favorite. I was, like, embarrassed. But... Um, my favorite part of the movie was the thing with Henry Waxman. You got to admit that was he made he made himself look like such a moron. And then um, the other one with uh, Joe Biden, because Joe Biden's over there crying, saying I didn't make the football team because all the jocks were taking steroids, and I was trying, you know, in college, you know, that's why I didn't make the football. You know, do you remember that part? Sure. And sure. I, I honestly think that a lot of reason why Congress goes after uh, athletes who take steroids is because a lot of those guys were geeks in high school that watched the, the um, always watched the jock get the girl, you know what I'm saying? Well, they sat in the library reading the book, and now it's their chance to get even. I swear to God, I think there's a little bit to that, because Joe Biden in this movie proved that to me. How would you think Romano did in the movie? Romano, he looked hot. I, I don't, did he have a, wait, did he have a skull cap on? I don't remember. I probably did, yeah. Uh, no, he, I think he did great, you know. Um, John, John's a good guy. I like to break John's balls, but we're part of the MD family, so we could do that. Right.
Yeah. And you, you came and you actually said something about Arnold. I mean, you were the only one who really put it out there. Like, look, Arnold was was taking steroids and and, and he, he's living the American dream. You pointed that out and Chris Bell kind of played off of that. Did you think that was a key point in the movie? Absolutely. I'm not trying to grease my own wish, but a lot of people don't want to talk about Arnold. But, I mean, Arnold is... Ar- Arnold is the man. Arnold, to me, should uh, he should stand up and either say it the way it is, because there's a guy who, if he didn't take steroids right now, he'd be speaking German, living over there in Austria, just dreaming about a life he could have here. Maybe at best, he'd be a police chief like his father was, okay? But now he's, you know, here he is, the governor of California, one step out, uh, away from the White House, and, you know, he's, he's, he's playing that politically correct stuff when he knows as well as we do that steroids aren't the evil that everybody in the world's making out to be. So all I'm asking is for Arnold Schwarzenegger to step up to the plate. Where is he in all of this? I mean, in here, he pulled that standard bullshit. He, oh, yeah, I took steroids, but I only took it before a show. When you and I both know, that's a crock of shit. Do you think that there should be a steroid testing in bodybuilding? Um, no. So how, what, what would you suppose Arnold would step up to the plate and do? See, I don't believe in natural bodybuilding. I, I mean, what I mean by that is I, I, believe, I, I think it's great if you're natural and it's admirable, but it's your choice. It's well, what your should choice. Arnold do then? What's stepping up to the plate mean? I think he should educate the public. Say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. These guys are athletes. This, this shit, you guys are making more of it than it is. I, I don't think that... So you think it should be legal then? I think it should be legally re- regulated, but not... Uh, uh, Regulation, not incarceration. I don't believe that he should have to drug test his shows, but if it is illegal, realistically, and he's a lawmaker, he should. But I'm not for drug testing. I'm for education of telling people the way it is. You're, you're a hypocrite when you made your living, and you, you are who you are because of steroids. But you don't want to come out and say that, and you won't let the public know that they're not the evil that you're helping people make it out to be. Now- People are so rude. They walk right in front of you while you're doing an interview. It's amazing. Well, but that's New York. <laughs> that, yeah, that is New York City. No one would do that anyplace else. One final question. What did you think, number one, about Rick Collins, how he did, and, and of course, your good friend, Carlin Coker? I mean, I, you know, obviously, I love them both. Collins is great. Coker, P- Coker was great in there. Because Co- those guys know like it is. As long as you, like Romano, too, I mean, you, as long as you don't pull no punches and you tell it like it is, I have respect for you. It's when you're an Arnold that you stand there and say, look, you know, these steroids are bad, we gotta get this out of it. You know what I mean? I only did it before a show. Well, all right, there you go. Uh, there was a lot more to that interview, but it got cut out, okay? So I don't know where the fuck it is. I'll see if I can find it. Um, this video was done for uh, Muscular Development. We all worked there, God, you know, God rest uh, Derek Anthony's soul. You know, he passed away not far after that. Uh, you know, Guy Cistinino, that's before he was a pro bodybuilder. He was my friend. You know, he went on to be a great, great pro bodybuilder. I love Guy. He's a great guy. Great guy. Guy. Um, you know, Mr. G was still friends. I'm still friends with Guy Cistinino. Obviously, Dave and I are still friends. Colette Nelson, great. Um, but I got paid to open up the Tribeca Film Festival. I uh, That was the AMC Theater on 42nd Street in Manhattan. That's where this was filmed. It was packed out there. It was mobbed. And it's really crazy because I do... When I did when I got to open a Tribeca Film Festival, I got up there and made speech, you know, and then, and then I give a speech after the movie, and that's why they were waiting for me. So after the movie, I give a speech. But the thing is, when the lights go up and you're standing there on stage... Now, I don't get stage fright at all, but, you know, I, you, you're standing there and you're talking... And there's movie stars, celebrities, all in the audience because they watch, They come to the Tribeca Film Festival. They watch these movies. You know, it's a big thing. And, you know, I see these guys. You know, you see Martin Scorsese and people like that sitting in the audience sometimes. And you're like, and yes, I've seen Martin Scorsese, you know, in person. He's really little. You know, I'm five, six. He's small. But the thing is, you know, you sit there and you're like, and they're all looking at you. And you, now they just saw this movie with you in it, you know, because this is the Tribeca Film Festival, big thing, guys. You know what I mean? It, it's huge. And it's actually, I think Robert De Niro is the one who started the Tribeca Film Festival. And I used to love Robert De Niro, but it have all, all this other crap, this political shit he pulls. You know, he lost my respect. And uh, But that's neither here nor there. Um, it was good. And it's funny because I talked about Joe Biden. Now, this is back... 2007, maybe. That's when this was filmed, okay? 
Um, was it? Two, yeah, 2007. I think it was May of 2007. So back then, Joe Biden was in that movie crying, saying stuff. You know, I couldn't make the football team because the guys were taking steroids. You shut up. Yeah, still telling stories freaking all these years later. Whatever. But I, I thought it was kind of funny because, you know, he was in the movie Bigger, Stronger, Fast. They used a clip of him because he's one of the people to lobby to get steroids to become where they are today. So, I, you know, he's in the movie. Uh, you know, Arnold's in the movie. And obviously, you know, what I was trying to explain to Dave is like, you know, I don't want steroids to be illegal. And I don't think that drug testing should be, you know, be involved in our sport. Maybe now he should be drug tested for other drugs, not steroids, but like Oxycons and things like, you know, opiates and all that, because these guys are really cracked today. But regardless, what I was trying to say to Dave is, you know, when Arnold says, you know, steroids are bad, you know, and he was help lobbying against these things, I was like, you know, that's hypocritical because you made your living. See, I, I, you know, I was a natural bodybuilder for years, but that was my choice. I made that choice. I didn't have to be a natural bodybuilder. And, uh, you know, kudos. I respect natural bodybuilders. So don't take what I got wrong. What I said in there, don't take that wrong. I respect natural bodybuilders. I was a natural bodybuilder. I was natural beating guys on juice. You all know. You've seen the pictures and the video. this video. Clip. But the thing is, that's a choice. Bodybuilding is bodybuilding, whether you choose to do it naturally or you to be enhanced, you know. And, you know, I liked... I love being natural, but I love this, you know, I love the Bobania, baby. <laughs> you know, I loved it. I love the Bobania. Um, I just, you know, I just feel like, you know, Arnold, you should have stepped up and said, look, you can't abuse this stuff, whatever should be regulated, but, you know, hey, listen, I took it and I became Mr. Olympian, went into movies and, you know, became a governor and everything else, so... That's what I wanted Arnold to say. But don't sit here and say, yeah, the bad, you know, and all this other stuff, you know, or I only took it before a show. Because we all know that's not true. Come on, guys. You know what I mean? It's just like when you see some of these pro bodybuilders, they're 300 pounds in the offseason, they're like, I only took a little bit of stuff. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You know? Get out of here. I'm a hyper responder myself, and I grow easy, and I had well trained muscle. So well trained muscle responds better than untrained muscle. But I took boatloads, bro. I took boatloads. I put 100 pounds on. You know, I'm Pee Wee Herman now because I just, you know, got was in the hospital. You see the lines on my face and shit because I'm gone, you know. You know, I lost a lot of weight in the hospital. It went from 195 to, and I'm not juiced up. That's 195. I'm just on, you know, 200 milligrams of 10cc testosterone. And I don't, I only do it for a certain amount of months and I got to stop. I'm with a doctor. It's a female doctor, by the way. Um, not that that matters, but I would do it once every 10 days. You know, and I was the 195. It, it doesn't really make a difference in my body, but it does make a difference in the peace of God. You know what I mean? The feeling of well being, the recuperation, the joints don't ache, all that other stuff. And I feel good. I love it. But I don't really notice much in the body. You know, I'm a hyper responder. If I start taking anything, forget about it. Boom. You know? But that's neither here nor there. I don't even know why I'm even talking about that. Anyway, so I, it was great doing that movie. Again, I was doing speeches. It's amazing because I see guys, oh, I saw that guy in that movie. Oh, shit. I just watched a movie with that guy. And, you know, stuff like that. You get like, holy shit. You know, you, you know, it feels pretty good to do these things, you know. And I just did a TV show today. How about that, huh? You'll find out more about it uh, once we put it up. But um, once it comes out. But anyway, uh, I see Derek Anthony there kills me because Derek was my boy, one of my boys, you know. We were big, both big Yankee fans, uh, you know. So, and some of you guys, old school guys, you remember Derek Anthony. You new guys, you have no clue what the hell is going on. Um, but anyway, all right, so listen, I'm going to do another video tomorrow. I'm going to do more videos here. I, I know I've been absent, but just got to remember, I was in a hospital, a lot of, you know, things going on. I still have to get surgery in a couple weeks. I'll notice Thursday, uh, you know, what's going on a little bit better. But because uh, I got to go to the doctor, get scans, all this other crap. But, um, so I'll be doing, uh, I'm going to go live tomorrow night, which is Wednesday. Today's what? What the hell's today? Well, now it's, um, it's late at night. Uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, so tonight I'm going to go live, right? So today it's March 27th. And I'm going to address a few things. And one of the things I just want to tell you guys is so, we allowed people to be moderators on here on you know and 
one or two of the guys deleted people's comments and deleted, I don't know if they blocked people, I don't know what the hell, but that's, my girlfriend took all the moderating away, she's going to do everything, and there's no more moderating, I don't want moderating, I don't want anybody's comment, you could tell me I'm the biggest bag of oil, piece of shit, garbage, fucking that ever lived, I'm dirty, I'm no rotten, no good, I don't care, you're not going to get deleted, so, if you were deleted, I'm sorry, if your question was deleted, I'm sorry. Okay, we just don't like talking about families. That's not that's not cool, you know, especially if you're a coward and you like to talk, you know, tough guy and shit on the internet, but, you know, you know, you wouldn't like it if we knew who you were. You wouldn't have the balls to do that, and you wouldn't want your family to. But don't talk about it. Talk about me. I'm a piece of shit. That's okay. So if you were deleted, please come back. Sorry about that. You're undeleted. That was a big mistake. That's not happening anymore. I told my girlfriend... No more moderators. So whoever you made as a moderator, I appreciate you guys. The moderator, if you're watching, I appreciate all your support. You know I know you are. Okay. God bless you. I want you there. I'm still going to give to you and be, you know, you're still one of my boys on here, but I don't want any moderators. Nobody. There's no questions that are out of bounds. There's no, there's no blocking anybody. None of that. So we'll talk about that tomorrow more. All right? But we're going to have fun tomorrow. So today, today, today. What am I talking about? This is going to be up Wednesday anyway. So, all right, guys. I love you guys, man. And uh, by the way, it was great seeing George in here. George was younger in there. And then it's 2007. We're all younger. So I was 47. I'm now going to be 64. Okay? George is 66. Whatever the hell he was then. I don't know. Wait. So if he's... Uh, 64, he's like two years older, two and a half years older than me. Me, Jimmy the Bull, and John Romano are the same age. Jimmy's a couple months older than me, and I'm a couple months older than John. We're all the same age. So, and George is like two years old. So if I was 47, George was somewhere around 49, maybe, when that was. That's how, you, that's how long ago this was. God bless you guys. Listen, I love you, man. Thank you for supporting me. I got a lot more coming. I'm going to be doing a lot of cool stuff with some cool people. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry. See you tonight. 8 o'clock. All right, my channel. Sorry if any of you guys were deleted. Please ask the same questions again. You won't be deleted. Nobody's going to block anymore. I put the kibosh to that. I put, I put the kibosh to that. No more. Okay? All right. Wasn't my girlfriend. She also, she's the one who alerted me, and no more. I don't want moderators, not even her. Don't need a moderator, okay? All right. I love you guys. I'll see you tonight.